Hi everyone. If you've been looking for a free app to convert PDF files to Microsoft Word documents, then you've come to the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to show you a completely free PDF editor to do just that. Yes, you heard it right. It's free. No license fee, no subscription, and no sign up required. This free full features PDF editor is called PDF Gear. It has all the tools that you'll probably ever need to manage your PDF files. And as such, it's the ultimate free alternative to the Adobe Acrobat. All right, now let me first show you how you can convert PDF files to Word documents using this PDF gear. I'm gonna to try to convert two PDF files of different content source to see how well this app performs. The first PDF file is a fully formatted and styled document, which has a table of contents, page header and footer, subscript and superscript text styles, images, equations, as well as a mix of portrait and landscape page layouts. I created this PDF file from this Word document using Microsoft Print to PDF. As you can see here, the table of contents is an automatic table of contents, where each heading is a link to its contents page. The chapter titles use heading one style, while the section titles use heading two style, and so on. This document is also divided into multiple sections, which allow the mix of different headers, footers, and page layouts across those sections. With this first PDF file, I want to show you how much formatting and styling will be restored in the resulting Word document after the conversion from PDF later. All right, so now let's convert this PDF to Word. To do that, if you have opened the PDF file with PDF gear like this, go to the menu bar and then click Tools. On the Tools menu, click Convert and then click PDF to Word. Or if you are currently on PDF gear's home window, click PDF to Word under Hot Tools or Convert from PDF. This will bring you to the same PDF to Word conversion dialog, but you will still need to specify the file to be converted. So click Add File, and then look for the PDF file you want to convert. Or you can just drag and drop it from the File Explorer onto this window. You can convert multiple files at once, but for now we'll just convert this one file only. And then optionally you can also specify where the Word document from this conversion will be stored. As for the OCR option, We'll leave it unchecked for now since this PDF file was not created from images. All right, now simply click Convert and PDF Gear will do its job. Once the conversion is completed, you will be automatically brought to the folder where the resulting Word document is stored. And now let's open the resulting Word document to see the conversion result. So as you can see here, visually at a glance, most of the formatting and styling in the original Word document seem to be restored. The page headers, the chapter titles, the table of content style and layout, and the layouts of the images are almost like those in the original Word document. Only the equations and symbols are clearly broken. And also some page numbers are shifted to the next pages, creating extra blank pages. But if you inspect this Word document more carefully, you will find that it applies only one style to its entire text, which is the normal style and has no headings at all. Consequently, the table of contents and the list of figures are broken, and now are just like a manually typed table of contents without links. In addition, this page header is also not actually a page header, but just a normal body text that is laid out to look like a page header. But overall to me, for this kind of conversion result, PDF gear does a pretty good job. All right, the second PDF file that I want to convert is a PDF made from images of documents, which may be captured by camera or scan with a scanner, like the one I have here right now. For this type of PDF file, we have to utilize the powerful Optical Character Recognition, or OCR feature of PDF Gear. So to convert this PDF to Word document, we repeat the same steps, but now we need to turn on the OCR option. Select the language used in the document from the list, and then click OK. After that, simply click Convert as we did earlier. All right, now let's see the result. Well, although there are still some minor errors here and there, the overall OCR's performance seems pretty good. The image quality and the text styles used in the original document certainly play a role in the accuracy of the OCR output here. But for this type of PDF file, some error corrections and formatting work certainly wouldn't be that bad at all compared to retyping the document manually. All right, so how do you think this PDF gear performs in the two test cases I showed you just now? Quite impressive, right? It's definitely a must-have app considering it's a completely free app where not even a single ad banner or pop-up appears on the app. So if you want to install PDF Gear on your PC, simply open your web browser and then search for PDF Gear. Click the link to the pdfgear.com 
and then on the PDF Gears homepage, click Free Download. Once the PDF Gear installer is successfully downloaded, click the Setup file to start the installation, and then simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. All right, so that's how easy it is to convert PDF file to Word document using PDF gear. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.